for Nico Heischer as he finishes with 67 points in 71 games. Nearly a point per game player with 27 goals, second best on this team, and also 40 helpers to go along with it. But we know the captain. We know he does not care about his own individual stats. He's all about those points that the team grabs every night. And unfortunately, they didn't grab enough of them this year to find themselves extending their season into the playoffs. We're pleased to welcome in Nico Heischer. Now, Nico, uh, I know it's a disappointing way to finish this year's campaign. So we thank you so much for giving us your time here. Can you just speak to the way this season ended here tonight in front of your home fans, especially after that last loss in Philly? Uh, yeah, I mean, tough way to go out, I think. Uh, it's a little empty feeling right now. I think uh, we, we try to get that win for, for our fans, for our home fans. And, uh, I mean, I'm glad uh, whoever came and still supported us uh, till the end. So uh, we really appreciate that. But obviously it uh, wasn't uh, the way we planned it. Just down the stretch, too, for this team. I know you guys were trying to will it in. We look across the way the Islanders went 7-0-1 in their last stretch of games. You guys went 2-6-1 uh, six, six overall when it felt like, you know, maybe you could get to the playoffs. What kind of taste does that leave in your mouth? You talk about that empty feeling going into this long off season. I mean, I think uh, if you looked at the Islanders game, uh, it's hard against a team when you, when you go down. I think we had a good start, but... Um, they scored two goals, one on the power play, and uh, it's it's tough after. Um, they're they're in their uh, three one one, and uh, the puck pucks behind behind our D's. Uh, they're not turning pucks over, so it's uh, yeah we can look in their game a little bit and uh, see how it's done because uh, they're a really veteran team, and uh, when you when they have the lead, it's it's tough to come back against this team. Well, uh, Captain, well first off, uh, you know. Great season from a different perspective. Uh, how you were able to lead this team through adversity, right? I, I think it's a, it's a storyline that will be lost here because I've been trying to articulate to everybody that, you know, when you had such a, an outstanding season last year, everything went right. And until you go through some adversity, you don't really know, right, right what's going to come out that other side. And so I just want to, you know, you know, just, you know, give you some credit from just, you know, not quitting, being there since January. You had 50 points in 47 games. I know it's not just about points, but, you know, when you're faced with that type of adversity and you're going through through your first time, I, I know it can be very difficult. And so um, would you say, you know, just maybe for yourself, just you learn a lot about, you know, how you can go through adversity like this again should you run into it and maybe maybe some decisions or maybe some ways you handle the walk room maybe sooner or earlier is there anything that you maybe you yeah, take away from the season 100 percent. i think uh sometimes those kind of seasons you can take even uh, more things out of it uh when it's going good and uh, when you're winning uh, all goes easier all all it it's easy and uh yeah if you hit the adversity uh you got to battle through it and uh i think me and especially the group we have i think we we got to like learn from this and um, we definitely like uh, evaluate the whole uh, year um, since it's done now and uh, try to come out stronger with that and uh, sometimes it's always nice to say sometimes you have to take a step back to take two forward so uh, I think uh, we can take really a lot out of this year even in it's been tough and for us player too like I don't think anybody likes losing so uh, uh, we we're all really disappointed we didn't make the playoffs this year, and but it's the reality. And uh, now we have to move forward from here. And uh, like I said, take the things out. We we were able to learn this year, even if it hurt. But uh, that's just going to make us stronger. Well, definitely going to have the, the growth for sure that you guys are going to see. And uh, just kind of building off that, obviously, we're thinking about this season. But what are some of your other off-season plans? Are you going to be playing more? Are you doing anything with Worlds? What's your what's your situation right now? Have you thought about it? Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit for sure. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to have a, a call with, with our coach in the national team the next few days and see uh, uh, what's going on there. And uh, if, if everything works out, I'm probably going to play Worlds for Switzerland and then, then definitely uh, put my gear a little bit away. Yeah, taking a, a much-needed and well-deserved break. Nico, we appreciate everything you do for us all year long and for your teammates as well. It's a pleasure, as always, to cover you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. 
We've got much more to come here on the Mercedes-Benz Devils postgame show, including some of Nico Heischer's teammates, including fellow countryman Timo Meyer, who scored the sole goal in the Devils season finale. That's coming your way next. to the Mercedes-Benz Devils postgame show. We just heard from the captain, a disappointing finish, of course, for his team as they fall 4-1 to to the New York Islanders. And that sole goal came from Timo Meyer, who has been on an absolute tear since the calendar flipped to March 1st. 17 goals, 9 assists, 26 points in 23 games, matching what he did through the first 46 of the year. So his 28 goals lead the New Jersey Devils this season and it came at a great time Timo time we're having a little light hearted with it obviously uh, Timo would have been way happier and bouncing that bobblehead if uh it was a victory today, but Timo, uh, we love your bobblehead, so we wanted to bring it on the set, and we're so happy to have you joining us. What are the emotions after that type of game to end what's already been a challenging year? Yeah, it's definitely uh, disappointing to lose at home in front of your fans uh, the last game and missing the playoffs. Uh, it's definitely not the spot we wanted to be in, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to use this as motivation for, for next year and... Yeah, I'm already excited to, to go to work next year and, and make sure we're not in the same position again um, the next season. So, yeah, definitely take some time off and reflect on everything. Uh, but, yeah, definitely not happy with the way it went this year. Can you reflect on, on your personal year, too? And that graphic, I think, said so much. But the growth we saw in your game, it seemed like you were just trying to will the team to the best and, again, team leading 28 goals for you. Yeah, definitely. You know, going to take some time and reflect and look in the mirror. And I know I got to be better. Um, that's for sure. Um, at the end, I was, you know, able to, to score more. But overall, you want to be a player that uh, plays in the playoff. Uh, that's, that's the biggest thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna make sure, uh, like I said, take some time off, get, get healthy, and then uh, get ready to work with that motivation of uh, the disappointment we had this year. Well, Timo, I was, we had the captain on earlier, and that was kind of the, the theme we were just talking about, the takeaways from the season. So I think it was very beneficial that you were here at the end of the season, the experience of playoffs with the Devils, and, and how everyone finished on a high. And then you have a season like this, uh, there could be a lot of also still some benefits. And so for yourself, you know, you're, you're self-evaluating, you know, can you have a more consistent season? Um, you know, can you have an impact right from the start? And so do you see that as an opportunity to have growth overall individually from the team and, and understand that, hey, we got to bring another level? Definitely. I think, uh, you know, from times where, uh, where it's not, you know, where you're not succeeding, it should make you stronger and you should learn from it. We're still, you know, a good amount of young guys and uh, it's, it's a learning process. And so we got to... Um, yeah, look at what, what we did wrong this year and then just, you know, grow individually. Everybody, uh, like I said, uh, try to get, get better over summer. Try to make your game um, be at the top right from the start. And then, uh, like you said, consistency is very important to go through uh, 82 games. Um, you're not going to play, you know, you're not going to be at the top of your game on every, every night, but you should be uh, consistent and, and you know, your worst should be um, good enough that you can help the team win games. So uh, definitely the consistency is a big thing. We're going to have to do better. Yeah, and of course, we were talking about that all year, you know, within the game, from game to game. The one thing that we know is consistent is change, though. So as you, as someone who's part of this, this core of this Devils team, how do you go into the offseason knowing there will be more changes, possibly a different head coach again, which we had a change in the, the middle of the season, you know, new personnel, which can be expected every year. But how do you approach that new season with so much unknown? I think most important is just focus on the things that, that you can control. Um, the way you go into the season, uh, in, into the off season, and the way you, you train, the way you get your body ready for, you know, where you want to prepare to play a, a long season. We don't want it to be done after 82 games. So make sure uh, you do everything you need to get your body at the best of your abilities. Um, make sure, uh, yeah, you come in stronger than you are now, um, faster, all these all these things. So... Um, it's important time, the off season, to do that extra work, 
uh, make sure everybody does their homework and then uh, like I said that that anger you have now or the disappointment use, use it uh, when you go to the gym you know just maybe remind yourself um, how it feels right now and you don't want to be in this position again and yeah just put in the work perfectly summed up and we wish you uh, the best with all that work and obviously as the captain said to stepping away from your equipment for a little bit and just taking that much needed break Timo thank you again and, and like I said to the captain such a pleasure to cover you this season yeah thank you guys appreciate yeah. it thank you for your time it's been a great season when we return we'll hear from the other man on that top line tonight Jesper Bratt who marked a career year in points we'll hear from 63 when we return Game show for the second consecutive season. Jesper Bratt plays all 82 games and he finished this year for the first time as a point per game player. 83 points as he picks up yet another assist in the season finale. 27 goals, 56 assists. Obviously, uh, tremendous production from number 63, who we've had so much fun watching dazzle us uh, night in and night out. So we're pleased to bring in now Jesper Brad. And Jesper, obviously, would have liked to hear from you guys more in positive spirits, disappointing with the way this year finished. Just what are the emotions right now as you're kind of with your teammates downstairs after a tough one like this to wrap things up this year? Yeah, obviously, it's um, it's tough. It's, uh, it's a lot different environment than than it was last year and um obviously it's been it's been a long it's been a hard season for us as a group and uh i think at the same time we've we've learned a lot and uh, i think years like this you learn a lot about your group and as you as yourself as an individual how you handle it and um obviously it's been tough and obviously the night like today on the fans appreciation obviously we wanted to do better and get a win for the fans so uh it's obviously a tough night yeah, well, well, Bradder, you you talk about something there. You can learn a lot from a season like this. And I know that you, I don't know, maybe it was a month ago or two, you spoke to Erica and you made a, a comment along the lines of, yeah, like, we thought it was going to be easier. We didn't realize how hard it was going to be the next year after such a, a great season. And it really seems like you guys have learned that, hey, you, not, that you, not that anyone really takes – uh, for granted playing the National Hockey League, but you don't realize how consistent you need to be and how hard it is when you start to have success. So it, it, would, it would appear that you or you yourself are, are now seeing that. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. No, I, I obviously, we obviously knew as a group that uh, last year it kind of went fairly smooth. No one expected a lot from us as a group. And um, obviously we kind of cruised through it in a good way. We had great energy we didn't expect too much of ourselves, and ended up having a fantastic season and uh, obviously we knew going into this year it, it will be tougher every team will look at us on the schedule and know that they have to play their best hockey against us to win uh, and I mean can't, can't lie about it too injuries and did something to us getting some of our star players out for um, a long part of the season we didn't really get any consistency and the momentum in our game uh, some a lot of momentum with wins in a row and uh, I mean it ended up hurting us long term and uh, we had a lot of young guys that had to fill some some big shoes that obviously are great learning experience that they're going to have with them for for the next couple of years that it's going to help them grow but uh, obviously those are things that uh, can be tough in in this league and for the for, for that season. How do you evaluate? We talked about this this morning, and you said you wanted to take some time to focus on the game before you focus about yourself. But how do you evaluate what you've done, a career year for you, as we just showed some of those numbers, and it's still to get that consistency from everyone across the board and find a way to to, to kind of will together to get that? Because you talked about this morning about maybe wanting to answer the bell more on those expectations that you guys had coming into the year. Yeah, for sure. I it's obviously hard. It's a, it's a team sport, so I don't, I'm not a really someone that likes to speak about the um, individual things. And uh, I mean, obviously, I, I got to be better myself too. I mean, I've, in the last couple of years now, getting into a bigger leader role, and it's up to me to to grow more into that role too, to uh, put more expectations and pressure on myself and help the team to to get that to the next level. And that's a learning experience for myself to uh, be a little bit more vocal and. Uh, really come up in those big times when they, when the team needs me the most and obviously those are things that I can improve on too and it's a learning experience and um, yeah but there's there's obviously parts of my game that I thought that 
uh, I improved on, and um, that's something that uh, I'm excited to keep working on in summer to come back here next next season with another high level. Well, I, I can't commend you enough on how much growth I've seen from you off the ice. And you're talking about just the way you communicate, uh, how more comfortable you are with Erica and myself and, and being able to just really articulate. Like, yeah, we love having you we on. Love, we yeah, love it's, it. It's, Jesper, it's like, phenomenal. We can and have I, a little fun here. Sorry, yeah. Sal. But no, I mean, no, Jesper, no. you've been fantastic. Yeah, it's been great. And, and I think that that's critical. Like, you know, and what I also love is that you're saying that there's more. And this is from, a, you know, from someone that wasn't even supposed to make this team, right? And you made it right out of camp. You know, six years now, right? Wow. And uh, and, and so you, you just look at what you've done, and, and I commend you for saying, you know what, it's not good enough. I just had a you know, a career year, 83 points, and I need to be that leader. I need to produce more. I need to, you know, uh, be the guy that the team can rely on. And I think that's tremendous growth that we're seeing in you. And, and so when you have a season like this, you can only – take away positives from it because you're learning on the fly and, and i say that it's a it's a testament to you uh he sure uh and uh jack as well and you want to put the young kids in there like you guys are learning on the fly it's not like you have a sydney crosby in that locker room yeah. that's one cups that's got a bunch of hardware that's telling you guys how to be professionals and be winners so uh you're you're taking tremendous strides in, in your own self-development and and it's a credit to you and 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 that's why you're able to have the seasons that you're having not just point wise, but mm -hmm. the development. Oh, thank you. No, it's it is it is like kind of like a younger leader group now, and we're, mm -hmm. we're we always talk about it too. It's 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 our room now, and it's our room to um, show guys what what it's like, and to really bring all these younger guys with us to to show the ropes. And uh, I mean, I feel like I've handled it to to myself um, pretty good last couple of years, and now it's up to me too to uh, be a little bit more more vocal and. Like I said, bring bring more guys with me to show what it's like. I've, I've been part of pretty much two teams that have made it to the playoff, and I'm so far away from uh, the end goal that we want as a team. And I'm also learning right now, and 